what up, what up? Hey, what's good, everybody? Hey, hope everybody's doing well, and uh, welcome to the channel with the Fragrance Ninja. Coming at you today with a review from the house of Montal, one of my favorite from the house in a special way. And I'll get to that in a minute, but that is none other than Honey Oud. Yes. And so, when, why this is so special? When we start talking about the notes, it is a couple of my favorite notes as far as tradition goes, because Oud, which has been described as wood of the gods, uh, scent of the gods, and then honey, which has been known as nectar of the gods. So you compare those two up. I'll let that spin around your mind for a minute and how special that is. So now when you think about these two uh, notes in the fragrance, first off, honey, honey has been around since, if I remember right, 2000 BC. So about 4,000 years in the making has been used. And this would use in the first like alcoholic beverages, which is mead, wine, and other things along the lines of, as far as an aphrodisiac. And when someone would get married, they would provide milk and honey for conception. And in that front, it the honeymoon, honeymoon. That's where it all correlated from. And oud is just, you know, I mean, you know the history with the oud. And, and when it comes to certain fragrances, like this one, for instance, the notes are, or other notes are cinnamon, uh, amber, vanilla, as well as a little patchouli and leather. And all in all, when you spray this, this on, the first thing is a, a note that I get that isn't there. It's just a vibe, but it has a cherry cinnamon vibe. I mean, cinnamon is a note, but cherry is not, but it still comes off initially with a cinnamon cherry vibe that is divine. And then, so once that starts to kind of cook off a little bit and it starts to kind of melt into your skin, after that, that's when the honey comes and the oud comes and it's mixed with the sweetness from the amber and the vanilla. And the honey in this is not, I mean, sorry, not the honey, the oud in this is not that dominant oud because oud can, can be overly dominant in a lot of fragrances but in this one is done just pristine to where it's there but it doesn't overpower the fragrance it doesn't it's, it's, it's prominent it's there but it's not the only note you sense it doesn't just just gobble up the other notes that are in this fragrance it allows that honey to shine the cinnamon to shine the amber to sweeten up and it lets everything else play at its at, you know to the forefront now lasting power i mean come on it's montal i mean it'll last until tomorrow you don't have to worry about last power projection yeah it'll give you some pretty good projection you know you stretch your arms out and touch somebody it'll stretch out with you and touch them at the same time scare the hell out of them it's that much of a projection now but it's not unpleasant by any means either i mean it's very pleasing a crowd pleaser when you start to think about the, the honey aspect of it, the cinnamon aspect, and then the sweet notes, it is well received too. This is one of my favorites from the house, honestly. When you start thinking about Montal, and I have a, I think in my collection right now, I might have about uh, 13, 15 Montals. This is in, honestly, wearability and everything. This is amongst probably my top three or five. This is a winner in my eyes and almost matched it. <laughs> but this is truly a great fragrance in my eyes. And this can be had, uh, I believe I did a quick little Google and looked at it and I saw it for 70 or 80 about there. And I even saw somewhere where I was in the mid sixties. And for that price point, a hundred milliliters bang for the buck, come on man. Get a sample of this, try it out. If it's not your cup of tea, so be it, but at least you try it. This is good stuff. I really like it. I like the bottles, protecting your juice, everything about Montal, the power. This is one of the winners to me. But that's all I got. Just want to take a look at Honey Oud by Montal. Hey, until next time, y'all be good.